we're going book shopping. It's super cold, so I'm not really excited to go outside. I'm pretty cozy though, so I'll show you guys my OOTD real quick. And then we'll hop out to go shopping, so. So I'm wearing this really cute pink turtleneck for a little pop of color. Then I have my oversized jacket on, super comfortable. And then I'm wearing some ripped jeans, which is not the best for, you know, the 20 degree weather, but we're gonna work with it. Then I'm wearing my new balances because they're really comfortable to stand in for a long time, which I will be when I'm looking at these books. I'm also bringing my tote bag for a little, you know, accessory, but also it's like really good to pop my books in if the stores don't give like bags and stuff. And that is the OOTD, so let's go. Hey besties, Javelle here. It is officially January, which means new month, new books. And so today I'm going book shopping for the new year. I'm a lover girl, so obviously I want some romance books. It's also a new year, so I'm not against getting some really good self-help books because, you know, we always need someone or something to help us reshape our perspective in life to become better. And so I also want to get some self-help books, some romance books. So today we're going to go to Target, Barnes & Noble, and H not H&M. Oh, girl, H&M is on my mind. I love it now. <laughs> but today I want to go to Barnes and Noble, I want to go to Second and Charles, and I want to go to Target. And so without further ado, let's go book shopping. <laughs> Lines a little harsh, but I just left Barnes and Noble and now I'm heading to Target. I got two books at Barnes and Noble. Obviously, haul will be at the end, so stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm heading to Target. So, say, oh my, I can't waste my time for another night. That's why I was thinking you put your number on myself. Maybe I could call you my lover, time will tell. Too fast, you know it isn't like that yet. I'm not looking for that with someone I just met. I really want this book, but it looks like someone read it and brought it back. Like, why does it look like that? You don't got me falling for you, don't forget. I'm back in my car. The books are secured. Right now, I'm gonna run home and give you guys a cute haul. Hey guys, I'm back home. My mom's a little loud, so we're gonna ignore her. But I went to Barnes and Noble and Target. I got some books. I was gonna go to Second and Charles, but honestly, it was so busy today. I was like, I don't know where all these people came from. I thought we were in a recession. Why are we spending money? I don't know. But I did not go because I already got five books and I thought that was enough. So I went to Barnes & Noble and I went to Target and I'm going to give you guys my haul. So, so first book I got is by Penelope Douglas and it is called The Next Flame. And I don't know if this is a part of a series or anything because I did not look into it. But The Next Flame by Penelope Douglas and it says... 
Tatum Brands finally has everything she wants now. All through high school, Jared Trent called the shots. He decides if she would be happy or sad, fearful or free. He owned her heart and he played with it like one of his cars. But ever since Jared left town, Tate's life is exactly... Wait, why does it feel like I read this before? Ever since Jared left town, Tate's life is exactly where she wants it to be or that's what she tells herself. Because two years ago, her heart also stopped beating and there's only one way she can feel the same rush in her blood. Friday night's on the track. That's hers, not his. And to hell with anything that gets in her way. Okay, I really still don't know what this book is about. I don't know. I feel like the synopsis doesn't really give a good grasp on what the book is about. We just know like the main characters and the fact that they're both like car people and they're into racing. So I'm really excited to read what exactly they have going on. And then the next book I got is Twisted Hate by Anna Hong. I feel like I've been pronouncing it wrong. I'm gonna look it up and find the correct pronunciation. But basically this is the third book in the series. So there's Twisted Love, Twisted Games, and then Twisted Hate. And I think there's another one. I think Twisted Lies. I read the first two. I'm really excited to read this one. I know they all have different characters. They can be read as standalones, but I've been reading them in the correct order for once. It's basically about gorgeous, cocky, and fast on his way to becoming a hotshot doctor. So it's about a doctor, John Chen, and he hasn't met a woman who he couldn't charm except for Jules Amber Rose. The beautiful redhead has been a thorn on his side since they met, but they also consume his thoughts in a way no woman ever has. When their animosity explodes into one unforgettable night, he proposes a solution that will get her out of his system once and for all an enemies with benefits <laughs> an enemies with benefits arrangement with simple rules no jealousy no strings attached and absolutely no falling in love see i've never heard about enemies with benefits before but that's basically this the plot the synopsis of this book i feel like it's going to be really spicy because all the twisted series i think has been super spicy so far and i'm really excited to read this and i went to target i got three books there and i'm really excited to talk about them so i wanted to get a self-help book because you know new year new me and i wanted i mean i'm always trying to improve and grow and i feel like for me i'm a big lover girl like love is always at the front of my mind and so one of the books that i really wanted to get to kind of like kick off my year is this book and it's about love it's not necessarily like a self-help book but i think it will help me in how i love and how i view love which in turns just help me as a better person but i'm definitely like gonna get into my you know self growth this year um but yeah there is all about love by bell hooks she is a black author which also made me really want to read it and i've heard so much about this book and a lot of people say it kind of like changes their perspective on how they view love and so um, I read like a quick little synopsis, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but the word love is most often viewed as a noun, yet we would all love better if we used it as a verb, writes Bell Hooks as she comes out fighting on fire in All About Love. Here, at her most provocative and intensely personal, the renowned scholar, cultural critic, and feminist skewers our view of love as romance. So I'm really excited to read this because I've heard so much good things about it and I'm sure I will like it a lot as well. So the next book I got is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose and even the cover is really what got me because like there's like blood stains, but then there's rings and I'm like what's going on? But this book is basically about a married couple. They have two homes. One of the homes the husband's at and he's there with his mistress when his mistress dies and i think this might be a movie too or something i don't know i feel like i've seen like this plot before i don't know but the mistress dies at the home and he's kind of being accused of being the killer and so the wife is actually a lawyer and so now she has to defend him so he doesn't go to jail for her murder this sounds insane i didn't even check if it was third person but i'm so excited because this book sounds very crazy it sounds really good and i can't wait to talk about it the last book i got from target is actually something from tiffany's by melissa hill and it looks like this the cover is so freaking cute and if you know like the store tiffany's get it get it something from tiffany's is basically about a widower who is really into christmas time and so is his daughter they're like big Christmas people, which I feel like me picking up this book in January is a little bit weird because it's no longer Christmas, but we're gonna rock with it. But um, 
because I did not read the synopsis in the store. I just thought the book was cute. <laughs> it's about Ethan. He's a widower. He's a really big Christmas guy. So is his daughter. And he has a new girlfriend. And what's a better way to really invite his girlfriend to become a part of his family than to take a trip to New York where, you know, Christmas is like really magical in New York. If you've never been there, definitely recommend. He pops into Tiffany's to get it her and while he's there he runs into this other guy who is also there to pick up a gift for his girlfriend their worlds kind of collide their lives get changed and you gotta read the book thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much if you haven't subscribed yet definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more i'll see you guys next time